68% of small businesses in the UK have already had a security compromise. And sadly, it takes them on average 237 days before they even found out that they've been compromised. So here are 13 top do's and don'ts to make sure that your passwords are not hacked by some mental hacker. So if your username is Francis, don't make your password Francis0001 exclamation mark. Do not use a readable word. Let me be specific. Any word that's in the dictionary, do not use it as part of your password. Date of birth. If I want your date of birth, I'll look up your name, I'll go to your Facebook account, and guess what, I'll have your date of birth like this. Please don't use your national insurance number. Please do not use any consecutive numbers or letters. Because I can show you a place on the internet where we can download some free password cracking software that I can crack those lovely easy passwords within seconds. So if you're using a password for your Outlook and a password for your Facebook and a password for your LinkedIn, please don't make sure they're all the same. They've got to be different. If you ask any cleaning company how to find passwords, they always say, very easy, all I do is I turn over the user's keyboard and in there there's a yellow sticky note and the password is written there. Fantastic idea, isn't it? Don't do it. Now here comes the do's. First one, use at least 13 characters long for any password. Please do make sure that you change it at least every three months. Use a password manager like RoboForm or 1Password. Those things are brilliant. They cost maybe 15, 20 pounds a year, but they'll save your bacon every single time. Until a year ago, I used to use a short password. Until I saw an ethical hacker show me how easy it is to get passwords. So now I use a sentence. I'm not kidding you. Use a sentence as your main password and you'll be as safe as houses. Another great feature to use, especially if you're working at an office environment, make sure that if somebody puts in your password more than three times incorrectly, that it locks your user account. That way, at least the hacker only has three goes to try and break your password. And finally, my favorite tip for accounts departments and MDs of small companies is to use a secret word or phrase. And when the MD asks you to make a payment, let them challenge the person who's gonna authorize the payment, say, give me the second and the fifth and the 10th word, because normally only two people on the planet should know that information and your money won't disappear into somebody else's account. 